Hello and welcome to another exciting episode of the Super Breakdown. Today we're looking at the ZGMF-X10A Freedom Gundam, piloted by Kira Yamato himself. The Freedom's pretty cool. It has some fun little tricks like this spin that allow you to really get out of the way of Garobis or get out of the way of funnels, which is what you'll see me mainly using it for in this one. Uh, you can fire while using it, uh, though it is not a instantaneous fire. There is a delay before you're able to fire as the freedom comes out of the spin enough to be able to actually attack. You also have the full barrage here that does some very nice damage, as well as just the shoulder cannons that do pretty standard damage on their own. Pretty nice regular shot, and if you charge it, you get the shot that is iconic for Gundam Seed, I would say. Uh, Striker is a fighting type, so you get a quick little double combo. Uh, you also have some pretty nice melee combos in the form of the Lacerates, and you can, of course, you know, come out of the roll into a melee as well, which is very handy. See? The Freedom is something that when I started playing around with it, I realized was a lot cooler than I actually originally thought it was. Side melee, then you have the back melee, which is very, very interesting. Uh, I liked it quite a bit, uh, because the back melee, if you can connect with it, like I'm trying to do, actually leaves one of your Lacerta Beam Sabers inside the enemy for a moment, which is pretty cool. You don't see that very often in your melee combos. Uh, you have the forward melee. Pretty good. You have, again, the... Oh, well. You have, again, the side melee. Pretty nice. And then finally, you have the basic melee, which has some pretty good chase on it into the next one. Freedom's a pretty nifty little unit. I like it quite a bit. It definitely has uh, low ammo. It's something that I would say can be considered a flaw. Uh, and it takes a little bit for some of it to come back. Some of it is not very quick. But with what it has, I think it's not bad at all. So the question then, of course, becomes, should you use the Freedom? Well, if you like mid-range to short-range... Yeah, I think so. I, I failed that burst there, but as you can see, it's a melee burst. And I thought we'd need a little bit more range out of. At long range, I find that the freedom struggles a little bit. It doesn't really have many attacks that can hit our green lock other than the full burst. And when you, you use the full payload there of, of beam weapons... Uh, you do have the problem that is, you know, hey, you only really get that one shot for a little while. So using it at green lock is probably not a thing that you should be doing. But I think if you like suits that are good for mid-range to short-range, then yeah, the freedom's not bad at all. I think there are maybe some better options. I think that uh, if you have the virtue, the virtue is by far a better option for mid to short, especially because the long that it has. If you have the Buster, I think the Buster is better for mid to short. Although the Buster always also has like better long range options for sure. The only thing that I might give the Freedom over the Buster would be some of its short range options are better. I think in the mid range, it struggles compared to suits like the Kyrios or the Gun Cannon. But in short range, it struggles compared to suits like the Death Side or the Epion. Uh, what really sets it apart still is that roll that you can cancel out of almost immediately to be able to get in some good surprise hits that your opponent may not have expected at all. Uh, I wish the roll was not on ammo count, but I understand why they did that. It was because if it wasn't, you would spam it far too much. But with all the complaints now voiced, I do think the Freedom is a really solid suit. And at a nice little 400 cost, it's not bad at all. It would be worth a shot, I think, checking out. Let's see if we can show off this burst this time. There we go. Burst is really cool. Which is why I wanted to give him another chance to show it off. I do think the striker on the Freedom is trash. I think the striker's real bad. I think even the strike striker is better, but we'll get there. I think where the freedom would really shine is in one-on-ones, though I do think you could have some utility for it in 2v2s and 3v3s, backing up other suits. But the ability to just suddenly do this in the middle of a, a combo would really give you a lot of extra utility. I do think, though, if you can save it, you need to save it until the moment when it would really be useful. 
uh, if your opponent doesn't already know about it. But until next time, I've been Trey. This has been the Full Spectrum. And remember to always enjoy the Full Spectrum. The Freedom Gundam has to offer. <laughs>